my name is Nicole and I work at the Michigan Humane Society in Westland and my job is a wildlife technician slash exotic animal technician. I have been working at MHS for four years. I just celebrated four years with the organization. Every day is a little different with how I start my day. The animals are my first priority every morning. Hey buddy. Hi, what are you doing? We are cleaning our adoption area for our small domestic and exotic animals and right now we are cleaning Swiss and we're just making sure that everybody is clean and has fresh bedding, fresh food and water, making sure that their habitat is clean and everything like that is really important for the animal's health. Baby here, she is a bearded dragon. We do need to supplement their vitamins um, and every reptile is different. Some require lots of supplements like bearded dragons, they require so many. And we also have to supplement their um, lighting as well because in the wild they get UVA and UVB rays naturally, but here in Michigan, you know, they're not going to be outside most of the day. I um, mean, you have to remember that bearded dragons are a wild animal that we have recently started domesticating. So we have to treat them as such and make sure that they're getting the proper lighting, artificially at least, so that they're healthy. So this is an iguana that we have. He is with us because he is on what's called an abandonment hold. He was found in a home where his owner had passed away and there was nobody else living in the home at the time. There was nobody to claim him, so we have him on a hold just to see if anybody else in the family is wanting to take care of him. But if not, then we're going to see what his behavioral status is at that point to determine whether or not he's an adoption candidate with us or if we need to send him to a more specialized rescue that does just reptiles. So when you see an iguana at a pet store, you might see them at this size, um, or you might even see them as babies, but a lot of people don't realize they can get really, really large, and their habitat is gonna have to grow with them, and they do need a lot of space to roam around and be comfortable. My name is Nicole, I am returning your call. I'm with the Michigan Humane Society in Westland. Um, I have received your voicemail that you were looking to set up an appointment to surrender your two dwarf rabbits. Um, and we can definitely set up an appointment for you. Um, I just need a little bit more information to get you that um, appointment slot and see what day works for you that we would have available. So later today, we are helping out our Rochester Hills location with taking in a couple mice that they have up for adoption. They have a lot of mice right now and we actually just adopted out our last one. We're gonna help them out by taking a couple of theirs. For now, we're just gonna go into our shelter medicine area and see if there's anything that I can help with. Well, I will give Syndrome his pyrantal. It is really important to make sure that animals stay on their vaccine schedule for health reasons, but it's also important because, you know, when uh, the customer service representative is doing an adoption, it just makes the process go quicker when the animal's already up to date. That is part of my job is to make other people's jobs a little easier as well. Great. Ever since I was a kid in elementary school, I was picking up stray animals and taking them to the local shelter. And I always had any pet that I wanted basically that didn't creep my mom out. I love every type of animal and they all deserve the same respect. I grew up loving each and every one of them. I'm very proud to say that it's my job to educate the public and make sure that these animals get the respect that they, do, that they deserve.